Welcome to Cineropolis, Forsk, Minnesota, and the rowdy bloodstained Thunderdome. The fans have already moved on from drinking beer in cheap plastic cups to drinking ale and freshly harvested skulls. I, for one, am glad the broadcaster's booth is an old World War III bunker. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Atlanta Vultures take on the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, I can't have you. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and can litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish! I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on that things. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. First and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Ghost and it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. You want dirty to put on your time. Second down in a very lot. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Roid Rage brings out the worst in anyone. He could go all the way. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He scores! Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. why they call it the money shot. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Nova. They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. Second down in a month. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. Yeah. 
Second down and more than the QB would like. Let me tell you, getting shot is no joke. I used to wear triple wolf socks, slide around on a shit pepper for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. First and ten. And that's how you run the football. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> that's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. First down and nine. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Second down and nine. You go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, you get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and that's a hell of a cheap shot! <laughs> Gotta love it! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one! In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on Roy Brain would win. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. The 20. But he's sick when he should have zagged and ends up a shish kebab. First and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Bring up second and one. Oh, a great play by the defense. 
Jones. The receiver didn't stand a chance. And that'll bring up third and one. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. First down and nine. Six. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. Second and one. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Looks like the defense called the giant no and he passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open feet. And he punched his way out of that tackle. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, it's a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Oh. 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 Oh.
of watching out for that dirty trick. Second down and ten. Well, he made the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Third down and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He can have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Oh, you out. That's right. Hey, what you doing? And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and five. And another interception. This quarterback is going to... Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds. Me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. The defense goal is sticky ball trick and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Griff, but it keeps coming back to him. Third down in forever. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Nail him right on the numbers for a touchdown. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He's not going down. The kicker died on that play. And that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to 
to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I did you a lesson. What lesson? He said, that unless you're a baboon with big baboon balls, you gotta pay attention. Yeah, along the jungle, you know? Like he just ran into the... Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. A bone crusher right there, folks. And that'll be second down and four. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Well, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Oh, great tackle! Oh, mama! Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Third down and ten. He heard footsteps, so he tossed the ball out of bounds. Good move. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to count with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. Second down and six. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just... Oh, 
and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. I'm going in circles. You are dead and some fun on your time. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this up, man. They're going for two points. Two-point plays are high-risk, high-reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, man, Brooks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And he's no doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Here comes the defense. He's at the 30. And he just wrestles away from the... That's a touchdown-saving tackle right there. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go to a strapeze show, where are we going? Hey, once you sell down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever.
just called a bullshit penalty. Second defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Excuses for this QB. You just you just throw it to the guy in the same and like Rix's bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. The 10. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. First and ten. And like a monkey trying to fuck a crew. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Second and three. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. And he pumps his way out of that tackle. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 30. He's at the 20. He's at, and they're catching up. Jump, jump, go something. And the ref is picking up a lot of singles as he runs off the field. Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's bribed, you idiot. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. He could go all the way. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love. 
moment. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. First down and forever. And that's another turnover for the... And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. The t He's running out of gas now. Hey, man. He's going to hit him now. He's going to hit him now. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. First and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Get on out. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. This guy's a brick shithound. His cleats are caked in blood and oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's at the 40, the 30. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Great shoestring tackle. lost another line basher on that play and only two remain on their roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And like bricks and fouls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. It's a touchdown! Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Boom! And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 30. They might catch him. Oh, man, he just got skewered by those spikes. That was bloody and disgusting. Hey, anyone in the mood for a steak kebab? Make mine rare. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Look at that 
little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. We're tying up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, throw me. Oh, what a sack there. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Let him make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Second down and more than the QB would like. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than complete. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's in the 20, and the quarterback drills one in for the first. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. First and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, great throw, great catch, and then put six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a thrown out good, man. You mean aside from driving the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Oh, 
home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. It's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Void rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask him. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Third down and ten. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. And I'm two fists into this bottle of scotch. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburner. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. First and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. <laughs> Second down and a lot. secondary for you pay him for the pick six for this you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck third down and the punter is warming up he could go all the way and this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range Let's go on. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. I guess. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Friends. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten.
second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot two. all the time. <laughs> the defense has only one line basher left and they need to keep him alive to avoid forfeiting. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. They are going for it, and the defense is licking their mutant lips. The Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the... And the defense won that one handily. The offense fails on fourth down and turns the ball over. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Boom! Dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you mark. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it plays on defense, schmuck. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. The and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stopsing time. That's why the girls... And another interception. This... Well, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good.
The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. Oh, with the punishing hit. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That yeah, was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And, and the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And the mutant eaters go home hungry and defeated today. Speaking of being embarrassed and defeated at home, how'd your date go last night, Bricks? Uh, surprisingly well. I only had to make one visit to the emergency room. <laughs> she must have been a Girl Scout, because the knots she used in that extension cord, they were impressive, Brim. Very impressive. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotrumpism. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.